sweet pea chef. And how are you doing? How are your mornings? Are they super busy? I know around our house, everything is so crazy in the mornings with everybody running to grab everything for school. Plus having a healthy, filling breakfast is really difficult to do when you're in a time crunch. So today, let me show you how to make delicious and easy make ahead freezer breakfast burritos that you can just grab, reheat, and go on with your mornings and be happy and healthy and ready to go. So let's get started. Our first step is to start preheating our oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and lining a rimmed baking sheet with some parchment paper. Onto our baking sheet, we're gonna add some diced red potatoes, diced red bell pepper, diced green bell pepper, diced onion, a drizzle of olive oil, some sea salt, ground black pepper, and some garlic powder. Then we're gonna toss this all together and make sure it's evenly coated. And while you're doing that, you can also spread everything out into an even layer so it bakes evenly. Now we're gonna transfer this into the oven and bake for about 20 to 25 minutes until our potatoes are tender. And this is basically gonna be our diced potatoes and veggie hash that's gonna be going into our breakfast burritos. If you don't like some of the veggies here, you can take them out and you can add ones in that you like. It's very versatile. Now, while our vegetables are roasting, we can get our eggs together for our cheesy scrambled eggs. So in a large mixing bowl, we're gonna add in a bunch of eggs, followed by a little bit of shredded cheddar cheese, sea salt, ground black pepper, and garlic powder. And then we're gonna mix all this together until it's fully smooth and mixed. Now we're gonna heat a large skillet over medium high heat and then add in a little bit of olive oil. Once the olive oil is hot, we're gonna add in our egg mixture. And then using a spatula, we're pretty much just gonna be tossing this constantly. You want the eggs to get nice and fluffy and smooth and velvety, and that's gonna happen by using a spatula and just going to town as it's cooking, making sure that you're tossing it and evenly cooking everything. The eggs are gonna be done and ready to remove from the heat when they're still a little bit moist. You're gonna not wanna cook all the way through because they continue cooking actually even after you remove them from the heat. So once they're just slightly moist, you remove them, otherwise they could get dried out and become not so good scrambled eggs. It's just not breakfast burritos to me without a little bit of bacon. So I'm gonna add some uncured, no sugar added bacon to a pan. I'm gonna cook that until it's nice and crispy. We're gonna be crumbling this over our breakfast burritos. If you don't wanna have bacon, you can replace it with any type of sausage or ham, or you can just leave it meatless, it's up to you. Now that we've prepped our veggies, our eggs, and our bacon, we're gonna let everything cool a little bit because we don't want to assemble our breakfast burritos with things being super hot. That'll get everything all steamy, and then it won't freeze right and get all soggy. So you definitely wanna have everything relatively cool before we get started. I'm using whole wheat tortillas for our breakfast burritos. I make sure when I buy tortillas at the store that the first ingredient is whole wheat, not anything enriched or bleached or anything like that. If you wanna use any type of spinach wrap or anything else that your heart desires, you can. Just make sure that it's pretty large because you don't wanna have super tiny burritos. You wanna have a pretty good burrito sized tortilla. I'm going to lay down a square sheet of aluminum foil first because that is what we're going to wrap our burrito in later. So go ahead and set that down and then top that with our tortilla. Next, we're gonna lay out about a quarter cup of our roasted veggies in the center of our tortilla. Top that with a couple heaping tablespoons of our scrambled cheesy eggs. And then we're gonna add our crumbled bacon over the top. If you want any other toppings in your breakfast burrito, like salsa, you could add that at this time too. Now it's time to roll up our burrito. So carefully fold the sides inwards and then using your fingers, we're gonna start at the bottom and then we're gonna tightly roll everything up until you have a burrito. Then we're gonna place it seam side down onto our aluminum foil and then we're gonna wrap it up from there. And then poof, freezer breakfast burritos. Then just repeat with the remaining ingredients so you have all of these delicious freezer breakfast burritos ready to freeze. I use a freezer safe gallon size Ziploc bag in order to store all of the burritos together. They're gonna last for up to three months in your freezer so you definitely wanna have one spot that you know you can go to and grab them. When you're ready to enjoy your freezer breakfast burritos, all you have to do is grab it from the freezer, unwrap it from the foil, place it on a plate and microwave it for one to three minutes until it's fully heated all the way through. Or you can reheat them in a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for 12 to 15 minutes. 
Each one of these breakfast burritos has 13 grams of protein, five grams of fiber, and it's just 350 calories, making it a really great, satisfying, high protein, high fiber, and delicious breakfast to have on your busy morning. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you love these breakfast burritos and they make your morning so much easier. If you're looking for another really easy, great breakfast prep ahead recipe, check out my overnight oats recipe video with a ton of options for make ahead overnight oats. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss our new weekly recipe videos and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.